Mm. So the ongoing investor relations and, and ongoing compliance, what are your requirements here? So traditionally emails are going to, you know, your your investors are going to say, Hey, shoot me an email with these five things. I need these, my information rights. I need these things quarterly or monthly or whatever. Mm -hmm. And you're shooting them out to every investor. You know, you've got their emails and you're keeping them posted. Um, You, may not be aware of what in- information rights investors have. They live in those PDFs that got signed and got buried in your data room somewhere. And you can't remember that. And so you're, that's the traditional thing is you, it's just it's disconnected. Everywhere. <laughs> it's everywhere. Everyone has different process, et cetera. More agile approach. Again, the idea being let's keep this as simple and streamlined as possible. Yeah. You've got those evergreen data rooms that investors have access to that you can just continue to drop things in there and say, hey, investors, go to your data room uh, whenever you need to. Every month, we'll drop our financial statements in there, mm-hmm. and it's just going to be there. Uh, you don't, I'm not going to send out a specific email update. It's just going to be in your data room. Go find it when you need it, and, and you know, ask us questions when you have questions, and we'll answer them. That's great. So it's a little, I mean, bit, that's, a little that's bit more awesome. streamlined. Yeah, I mean, it's such a relief because at that point, you are trying to <laughs> – hopefully stop the fundraising round and start focusing now on hitting the <laughs> milestone. So time's going to, the second the bunny kicks in and is in the account, the work's just begun. And you need to get exactly. to work. So anything that can save and, and keep everything uh, compliant is, is super important. <laughs> yep. And so again, the goal here is this isn't a big discussion point. There's no terms to negotiate. It's something you have to do. It's just a matter of, do you have the tools to do it more efficiently and more effectively? Love and it. Yeah, so that is time. It, it's that it's that invisible resource, right? Like it's exactly you know, it may not be the the money or the fees, but it's definitely time and that opportunity cost of your time could have been spent other areas that could be growth or the next milestone. Yep, and and. And honestly, that's that's it for in terms of just talking about that fundraising process, comparing traditional to a more agile approach. We've talked about capital planning. We've talked about the investor outreach process, structuring the terms and and you know the the valuation of deals, how how you can approach that in a different way. We've talked about due diligence, investor onboarding, closing the financing, and then this post financing relationship management. So those are. That's that's it. That's kind of the fundraising process. Wanted to run through that with you guys. Hopefully yeah. this has been helpful. It has been. And um, I'm glad that we were able to bounce off questions as we go. And of course, as you're uh, rewatching this recording at any time, sharing it with those co-founders or other founders that might be in the trenches, your allies who are helping you go along, uh, you can record a question as well. Um, We definitely will have the ability for you to just click and connect with Dan and his team so they can help you as well. Um, But before we we get into like connecting with them. What I'd love to do is take a moment, Dan, share with us a little bit about a savvy legal, um, what the areas are that you can assist and when that right moment is for founders to connect with you so that again, it's all about saving everybody time here is uh, when here's a lot of great information this we can do on our own with our founders start these discussions internally, but also know the right moment to connect with you not too soon, not too late. Um, So I'll pass it over to you and share with us more about Savvy Legal. Awesome. and Savvy, uh, we partner with WeTransact to give you guys a number of tools and services to make your lives as founders easier and better throughout your, you know, your, your ventures life cycle from formation to fundraising, even to exit. And so we offer a number of tools on a SaaS platform that you get to take advantage of in a DIY, you get to access it and use it as much as you want or need. Uh, I'll show you what some of those tools are or I'll talk about them. And then we also offer services in conjunction with those tools that you can take advantage of as well. And I'll, I'll explain some of what those are uh, in, shortly. So we have a number of different products. We have Savvy Go, Savvy Raise, and Savvy Exit. These are packages of tools that you access on a SaaS platform 
that you can use depending on the, the stage of your company. So if you are um, just starting out, you know, at a pre-seed level, we have a number of services that you can take advantage of depending on what you're needing. We have subscriptions that you can use. And these services are, you know, your entity formation, getting your org documents set up, getting your entity, entity filed with different states, getting bank accounts set up, getting your founder documents set up, your cap table set up, your option pool set up. This is all stuff we, we um, label as, hey, you need to do this pre-fundraising. This is uh, basic foundational stuff for your company. And we want to give this to you as, as easy and as cheap as possible. You can get access to our tools through a, a subscription on Savvy. We also have add-on services. So if you have questions about, well, what if I want to be an LLC or a C-Corp? Which of those is best? Why should I be a Delaware corporation if I'm going to be raising money? What if I'm already an LLC and need to convert it to a corporation? We have add-on services that we can give you quotes for to help provide those. If you actually want to hop on a call with an attorney and, and get that counsel and, and handholding or a white glove experience, we can provide those services as well. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll share how you can schedule with our, our team to um, you know, talk about the pricing of that and what that looks like. Just a heads up, a, as a WeTransact company, if you sign up for a savvy subscription, you also will get some credits towards some of these services and we'll share what that looks like. And so that's a savvy go level. Oh, that's uh, for savvy, I didn't even know about that one. So I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. There, there's some, some credits that you can take advantage of if you're a WeTransact company. So um, savvy raise is a bundle of tools and services that is meant for somebody who's raising money. Awesome. So we have a number of self-serve tools that you can get access to on our platform if you're on a subscription. So safes and convertible notes, everything from board consents to approve those financings, the term sheets that you would need to generate to share with the investors, the signature collection process. Mm -hmm. We have some due diligence reports that you can actually fill out to share with investors so that you don't have to go through a law firm to, to answer all those questions. You can go through our diligence report process and share it with the investors directly to wow. skip over all of those transaction fees that, that, in, that firms charge you to develop a diligence report. You're, you'll have the ability to generate data rooms um, for your investors and share those data rooms with investors for ongoing reporting. Um, one thing I'll mention is we have a, a library of templates Mm -hmm. templates for employee onboarding, you know, equity agreements, board and stockholder consents, all these things that you want to be able to do. We have a library of templates. We call them workflows and you'll get access to that on our platform, depending on what you're looking to do. Um, you know, if you have a very custom document, we may not have a template for it, but we could automate it for you. So there's some customization that we can do. Um, those roll up vehicles, the, the SPVs that we talked about, we have workflows for you to be able to set those up as well and have investors invest through an SPV. Um, and then on the service side, we have counsel, paralegals who can provide financing counsel and financing and admin services. We're, uh, we are a fraction of the cost for um, compared to um, your standard law firm. So our, we work with financing counsel partners who work under the savvy model, meaning they're going to use the platform to streamline signature collection data rooms. They're not going to be churning billable hours on your financing. Um, if you engage with our partner law firms, they're going to, you're going to get an, an efficient and effective financing experience. We have ongoing paralegal subscriptions as well for folks who, Hey, I don't want to maintain my cap table or, or I need somebody to help me maintain my cap table. That ongoing, what we call corporate compliance, we can, you can have a paralegal that's uh, at a subscription price to be able to do that sort of things. So we have a number of services to go with your financing al along with the SaaS tools. Yeah. And we will, we will share with WeTransact kind of some demos that, that they can put out there so that you can go and, and see what a, the Savvy platform looks like and how to use it. Yeah. Um, but that is, that is what Savvy offers. Um, we want to make that available to the WeTransact companies. We are offering up to $1,200 in credit, depending on your subscriptions that you get on that credit may be lower. It could even be higher and depending on what services you're looking to do. 
So um, this is actually, it says here you need to schedule a call by December 31st. This is actually an open offer for we transact companies. So the, regardless of when you have your financing coming down the road, you can schedule with our onboarding team. So this QR code takes you to a calendar link if you want to just scan that. Uh, otherwise, we'll also have, you'll be able to contact our, our onboarding team to talk about the pricing, the price points, the different services, what that looks like. Um, and the WeTransact site will be able to, you'll be able to access that contact information through the site. So that is, um, that's it for, you know, our, our high level overview of what you get as a WeTransact company through the Savvy Partnership. Um, so hopefully um, that's been helpful. Yes, my and, goodness, it's, it's more than helpful. I mean, this is exciting because it, you know, one thing we loved from the first time we met with your team was uh, you really understand startups and entrepreneurs and um, that, you know, that's not always something every law firm has a specialty in. Um, and that is something here as your experience as a founder, you can really empathize. You've really understood all the kind of danger points, the red flag points, all the areas that could be improved and what you've developed with Savvy and your team is fantastic because it's like you're wearing both hats. You're able to say, hey, this would be a lot better for the founder. This is more, this is what's affordable at this stage. And, you know, understanding that like there's a lot that a founder, a resourceful founder can do on their own uh, and having a SaaS that starts you on the right path hopefully helps you avoid those um pitfalls and then growing with you and and really being able to have a SaaS product um because not all founders i think get the legal advice they need at the moment they need it most it's it's knowing it, but knowing the information before you need it. <laughs> it's, um, you know, but having these strategies so that you don't end up at a place where you got to pay to get out of, so to speak, <laughs> it was more costly. Than exactly. Anything. Yeah. Yep. No, that's exactly, that's exactly it. So hopefully we can, you know, get you guys what you need and we'd love to talk to you even just yeah. to explore what you're looking for. See if we can, we can get you what you need. So uh, yeah. thanks everybody for your time. Thank you so really? much. It was, it was wonderful having you on. We'll break it all up. We'll make sure everybody has everything. There's going to be a lot of resources coming along the way. As Dan and his team have updates, we'll be sure to post that as well. And thank you, Dan, so much for taking your time uh, to really go through this and, and answer a lot of the questions that founders are probably needing to ask right now as they plan for their raise. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> have a good one. Thank you.